Learning to hack is a big waste of time. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is John Good, and on this channel, we talk all about cybersecurity. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to check out the description for more training and resources. All right, let's do this. Whenever somebody's brand new and they're trying to get into cybersecurity, one of the first things that they almost always say is that they want to learn to hack. Unfortunately, what that really means is that they want to look like hackers in the movies, constantly trying to break into stuff and not go to jail or face consequences. Basically, there's this misconception that penetration testing jobs are legally immune from any type of consequences. Additionally, when somebody says this, people who know better and many times are in the industry don't set people straight and let them know the truth. YouTube clickbait doesn't make this any better. Let's be clear, in cybersecurity in general, knowing what attackers can do and how they do it is an extremely useful skill set. We have specific jobs called ethical hackers, penetration testers, or red teamers, just to name a few, where they actually take it a step further and they try to act like bad guys and break into networks and then they'll give companies recommendations on how to fix it. Of course, these job roles are paid by companies who own the network and it's all detailed in a contract for what's allowed and what's not allowed. In the grand scheme of things, these jobs represent a very small amount of jobs that exist in cybersecurity. I hate to break it to you, but if you didn't know that, somebody has to tell you. Now, the people that are able to land these kind of jobs are most successful when they have solid knowledge of how technologies work and the people behind the technologies and how they work because they can find the most serious issues and they can help the customer the most. The real problem is the people who rush learning how to hack, they end up missing some of this foundational knowledge along the way because there's a sense of, well, I'll just learn that later. The problem with backtracking to learn things a piece at a time is that you often don't get full exposure that you'd benefit from whether it's networking, system administration, or some other area. So you don't bring that full knowledge to the table. Think about this. If you worked in a security operations center and you could see how an intrusion prevention system gets installed at a large scale or some of the shortcuts that are taken, then you could be much more successful at penetration testing engagements. When it comes to career paths for beginners, I tend to recommend a similar path to most involving learning about networks, operating systems, and cloud. I don't tell people that you have to be an expert at any one of these, but if I meet you and you can't even explain some key group policy settings or basics about a firewall access control list, and you're on a penetration testing team, then I'm gonna be very concerned. This may seem crazy, but even as recent as a few years ago, the OSCP, which is the standard right now for penetration testing certifications, didn't even talk about group policy. Since a lot of employers require the OSCP to be a penetration tester, you could have been in that role and theoretically not known anything about group policy. The real point that I'm trying to make in this video is not that learning hacking is bad because it definitely is useful in cybersecurity jobs, but rather the point is that you need to not rush into only learning about penetration testing and learn the basics and some of these foundational topics deeper before you start to specialize. If you want to see more about what I recommend on how to learn this stuff, check out my free ebook and my getting started page linked in the description where I go into deeper detail with a career roadmap to guide you. Question of the day, what's an area of cybersecurity that you need to learn more about? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now I know in this video that I was kind of harsh as far as penetration testing and hacking, but it is crucial that you learn those foundational things. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more training resources, and I'll see you next time.